Hey friends, let's talk about the hedgehog today. I had a special request. So hedgehogs are called hedgehogs because they dig around in hedges making little snorts and grunt noises like pigs or hogs. So they're called hedgehogs and they're native to Eastern Africa, Europe, and Asia. And they are not related to porcupines. They're more closely related to moon rats, or shrews or moles, but they do have quills like porcupines. They're similar. Uh, they're shorter, sharper, and they don't have those barbs on the end. See my previous video about porcupines. Uh, just like porcupines, hedgehogs cannot throw their quills. Okay, they can just curl up in a little ball and keep you from getting to them because they're prickly. And they have 6,000, approximately, an average of 6,000 quills. Uh, and they have up to 44 teeth, which they use to eat mainly insects and bugs. They are mainly insectivores, although they do eat other things like seeds and fruits and um, even mice, frogs, and snakes. Mainly they like to eat bugs, insects, worms, um, that sort of thing. So keep that in mind if you ever want to keep a hedgehog for a pet. They eat little bugs. Um, but it's a really good thing to have them in your garden because they mostly eat pests and things that you don't want eating your vegetables or whatever you're growing in your garden. So they're good for that. And the things that eat hedgehogs are mainly large birds and any carnivores, like badgers. Their eyesight is not very good, so they rely on their sense of smell and their hearing. And so they smell out the little bugs and they snort and they grunt in the hedge looking for the little bugs. It's cute. Um, they, their heart beats about 190 times a minute. So they have a very facile heartbeat. And the babies are called hoglets. So we're still sticking with the theme of cute hoglets. Um, and they can live anywhere from four to 10 years old, depending on you know if they're in the wild or in captivity and what they get to eat and that sort of thing. So something that you should know about hedgehogs is that they do something called self-anointing. And what this means is that if they smell something new and interesting, then they will uh, lick and nibble and chew on the thing that smells interesting and they will form a frothy spitball in their mouth of this scent. And then they will spread that frothy spitball all over their quills on their body. And this is thought to distract predators since they no longer smell like a hedgehog, they smell like whatever thing that they spread on their quills with their spit. It's kind of gross, not sticking with the theme of cuteness, uh, but also kind of cool. Um, sort of like using shampoo or something to make yourself smell more interesting, I guess. Sort of. Um, <laughs> so they have this special circular muscle uh, around their body that they use. When they roll up in a ball, it's really hard to open them up, open up that ball and get them uncurled. And that is because of this circular muscle that they contract when they're rolled up in a ball um, and it holds them tight, sort of like um, those string purses where you like pull the string and it like pulls the, um, the bag closed. It's sort of like that. And even badgers have trouble getting them uncurled from a ball. Um, so that's, they only have the quills on the back, so they protect their soft, squishy middle insides by curling up into a ball. And something else that is interesting that they do, they do a lot of interesting things, these hedgehog guys. Um, when a male finds a female that he thinks is attractive, he lets her know 
by walking in circles around her many, many times. And that's how he communicates to the female that he's a really cool guy and he's interesting and she should go out on a date with him. Walking in circles. I'm not sure if that would work on me. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> so if you keep them as a pet, the ones that are kept as pets are usually the African pygmy and you will have to feed them things like mealworms and crickets and you can also feed them cat kibble because that has lots of protein in it for them. And you should be aware of the self-anointing behavior because they will do that even as pets. And then something else that you should look out for is ringworm uh, or salmonella or mycobacteria. So those are things that they can pass to humans and you can get sick. So just be aware of that and make sure that after you handle any animal, pet or, you know, someone, if you get to see an animal at the zoo or something, wash your hands afterwards and be hygienic and take care of yourself because different species can be immune to different things that we're not immune to. And I want you to enjoy our animal friends without getting sick. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that my friend who requested it enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching How to Be a Megan. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next time.